hey guys welcome back to another grocery haul we're starting at bj's thank you to all of you who have been watching my videos i really do appreciate it i love watching grocery hauls and based on my views i can see that y'all love watching my grocery hauls as well so i really appreciate that i grabbed a pack of these vienna sausages this is 18 cans and it was less than $14. I think it was like $13 and some $13.49, which makes them like 74 cents each, which is really good because the cheapest I have found them um have been 99 cents, which I showed in last month's grocery haul. Back in the day, these used to be two for a dollar. Of course, we know that prices no longer exist. So I just grabbed a tin, and this is the one that has the chicken, beef, and pork. Of course, you know, I had to grab a box of my popsicles. They were actually on sale this time around. So they're usually $16 and I had a $2.50 off. So I had to grab these. They are so good. And I ate my last <laughs> two, I think, a few days ago. I grabbed another 24 count of these Mott's apple juice these are really good and i don't i don't drink them every day so just sometimes i'm like oh i could i i feel like drinking an apple juice so these lasted me i think maybe two months probably yeah about two months and i also drank my last one yesterday because i know i was going to bj's today i don't know if i ever showed you the size of the popsicles but these are um the size so usually i eat them by the twos <laughs> so this is the size of the popsicle and then for these apple juices it's just this eight ounce bottle which is like the perfect size i grabbed another three pack of the simply lemonades as i mentioned in my last grocery haul so good they were actually i had a coupon for them so they were they are 7.49 for the three pack i had a dollar off grabbed a coffee creamer the international delight this time we got the french vanilla the last time i got the caramel macchiato which was really good so we decided to switch it up this time around and get the french vanilla grabbed a bottle of our beaches orange juice 5.49 and some extra virgin olive oil this was 3.30.99 I grabbed some more of the BJ's bacon. I have to retaint this because it's labeled on the shelf for like $10.49. But I'm looking at my receipts and it was actually $14.29. So I'm like side eye and BJ's like oh, that's like what four dollars more. But I really like this bacon. What I liked about it, it's not labeled as like a thick cut, but it is a little thicker than some of the other bacons I've purchased. And it the ones that I got the last time did not have a lot of fat. So you like them. And there it's not too salty. Um I can't remember if it's Smithfield or Jimmy Dean, but one of those, every time I purchase it, I'm like, oh no, I remember it. It is so salty. But this one is good. I grabbed some pepperoni this i'm not all out of the one that i have but i'm running low and usually what i do is i purchase this so it's a one point it's a one and a half pound um pack and i just leave it in my freezer and i just use it as i need it if you leave it if i leave it in my fridge then it would go bad after a while but it stays forever in the freezer i used to get it when it's on sale so it was 9.99 and there was a two dollars off i just grabbed this was the only like meat um type item that i grabbed some beef shank these are 3.99 a pound so i paid a little under 14 dollars for this pack i grabbed an eight pack of these sandwich rolls i still have not used the burgers that i showed in my last haul i'm gonna use it with these buns for with these rolls maybe on friday um, this was just two dollars and seventy nine cents, which I thought was a good price. Then, of course, you know we always get their bagels. This six pack is four forty nine. And I grabbed some plantain. These were fifty cents each. They're green, but I'm gonna leave them out so that they can get nice and ripe. This is such a good price. I think at my vegetable store, they're seventy nine cents each. Sometimes eighty nine. This is a really good price. Now for the non food items, I grabbed two. Of this 16 count um, dove bars this is the sensitive skin I usually grab these whenever there's a coupon they're usually 
18 dollars and the coupon was three dollars so i got two of those because i'm running very low on the stock that i have i think i bought that one maybe last year maybe early last year so it lasts a really long time i also grabbed a two pack of this vaseline this lasts forever i still have one that i've been using <laughs> for i don't even know how long and this was 7.99 for the two pack there was also a coupon for the gl um glade press and seal i love this i'm on like my last box and i've had that i think for at least two years this was let me see it was ten dollars and 9.99 i had 150 off i decided to grab it now that there was a sale and this product i usually browse the bj's website um, the app to see like what coupons they have and i saw they had a coupon two coupons for this for this the last time that i went there but i could not find they did not have it in stock this time around they only had one coupon but they had it in stock and i was really intrigued it is usually 17 dollars so it's a two dollars off and it's a three pack as you can see limited edition so basically on oh, the scent is the cool cotton apparently it's a uh, it's supposed to remove odor residue and let's see here so as you can see it says basically how it works is it helps to remove the um the buildup of detergent on like your clothes and neutralize it we'll see how it works i'm going to give this a try and of course i'll have it in an empties and i'll let you know how i like it the final non-food item i grabbed is another 36 count of the bj's their big rolls, their toilet paper. This is $17.49, which makes them like less than 50 cents a roll, which is what I like. So I grabbed another pack of those. Went to BJ's to round off the month of May. Um, and I made an extra special effort this month to use a lot of the meat that I had in my freezer. So I only have two like parcels of chicken i need to grab some more meat so the first thing that i grabbed this was the last one there i grabbed some of their boneless skinless chicken ties this is 279 so i paid 15 dollars and four cents and the chicken breast at my bj's is like three dollars and nine cents per pound which is crazy because i remember when it was 199 and then i think it went to like 219 but anyway so i grabbed some chicken thighs i also got some pork chops these are 2.99 a pound so 15 dollars and 40 cents i grabbed that this is gonna last us a while then i got some more beef shank 3.99 a pound i paid 14 dollars and 16 cents for this i also grabbed some chicken wings i have not gotten chicken wings in a while these are now 28 dollars i think i had like five dollars off this is a 10 pound bag i had to get um my french toast sticks i didn't get them the last time that i went to bj's and i definitely missed them so i grabbed another box then i just got a box of these steak and cheese wraps that i've been getting they're really good i just got one box this time i grabbed another container of this orange juice i they didn't have their brand so this is orchard pure it was four dollars and 59 cents which is cheaper than their brand grab that i got some of this sara lee bread this twin pack i think this is like 650 i grabbed some of their croissants sorry something cold was on it these are eight dollars and these lasted us the last time so long i just put them in the fridge and then you just heat them up they're really good so i grabbed another pack i grabbed a six pack of the corn muffins these were $6.99 and I actually got $3 off. I had like $2 off any six counts and then it was like a dollar off. I think I had the brand muffins but it came off so I got $3 off this pack. I also grabbed a pack of these Stacy's pizza chips, the Simply Naked. I have some hummus that I am trying to get through. This was like $9 and I had $3 off. I grabbed this snack pack. I think it was $14.99 and I had like $2 off. So it's 40 packs, one ounce. 
packs it has 10 of the mini oreos as you can see chips ahoy teddy grams i have actually never tried nutter butters it does not sound appealing so i actually gave those away i kept one to try it and rich cheese i love there are six packs in it this is how small they are i feel like they're like the perfect like snack in size but sometimes i feel like eating um chocolate chip cookies but i don't necessarily want to go out and buy like the big pack because then you know i'll just like eat the entire thing <laughs> over time so i feel like this is perfect you know that satisfy that little craving and then you're good to go and i love rich bites you'll also see in um upcoming clips that i grabbed some from um stop and shop so those are done but <laughs> I have these as my backups. I stopped at Target to get a Chick-fil-A sauce. But of course, I needed a few um, more things. I needed some sliced cheese. I grabbed one pack of the sharp cheddar, one pack of the provolone, two of these peanut butter crackers. Still loving these. I got a bag of their white hamburger buns. I'm still going through that... Um, 24 count of burgers that I bought from BJ's. I actually, I think I've only made six of them so far and I have no Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> Grab two of them. These were less than $5. I think $4.69. Of course, I had to stop at Stop and Shop. You know, I always say if I go to Target, Stop and Shop is literally across the street. I have to go in. Let me show you what I went for. <laughs> Um, what I really needed and then of course I grabbed extra stuff based on the coupons and the sales that they had I'm all out of bread. So I grabbed two of this old-time bread These were three dollars per loaf. I got a honey wheat and I got a potato bread. I wanted to grab some more Decaf black tea um, the last time I got, I think the packs that I got were from Target. Target did not have any. These were pretty inexpensive. I think they were less than $4. These were $3.89. I wanted decaf specifically. I am also out of my chai tea. Uh, when I was looking on the app, I saw that they had decaffeinated versions. I got two of those. These were two for five. In the app, I also saw that they had these Luigi, the real Italian ice. I got the lemon. I think the first time I purchased it, I also got the lemon and I liked it. It's six cups and this was on sale for $2.50. But in one of my rebates apps, I'm getting back a dollar. So once I get that dollar back, I would have paid $1.50. This uh, was another item that I wanted to grab. So the Nature Valley, these chocolate granola squares these are really good even my husband he was like yeah these are good uh, the last time i got one pack um and they're basically just your tin layer of um granola your um, nature value like your granola bar and a nice thick layer of chocolate it's so good it's like the perfect amount of granola perfect amount of chocolate they only had two so i grabbed two and it comes with it's like it's literally a square i'll show you how small it is it comes with six bars and this was on sale this week for 2.99 but there was like a dollar off coupon so i got one for 1.99 so a dollar off one and then i had 50 cents off one so i got 50 cents off the other so basically i paid 250 for one and then uh two dollars for the other and as i said these were the only two boxes there so i grabbed both of them this is how small it is so it's literally just yeah just one one square of granola covered um and the bottom has chocolate i also saw that they had these strawberries these looked really good um this is a two pound container it was on sale if you added the coupon for 2.99 this was purely an impulse buy <laughs> they just looked good the a two count of their cran orange scones and this was 250 this purchase <laughs> these cheetos I got these because I was in line and I saw them. They were on sale $4. And when I saw the patty size, that was kind of one of the main reasons why I bought it. I had to clip a coupon and if you bought two patty size, then they were $4 each. So I grabbed two of those. Moving right along, these fulfilled bags were three, four, five dollars i feel like i have tried this i feel like i bought this from um, trader joe before and it reminds me of those barbell bars in one of my rebate apps i think so, i think i'm getting about 50 cents on each bar so these were three for five and these were the only flavors that they had they were selling individually because they also have them in a pack of i think like 12 
so i got two of the chocolate hazelnut one chocolate peanut butter i grabbed this this was on sale for 3.99 i love ritz crackers the ritz cheese oh, i could not pass this one up so i grabbed that as well and these were because i was shopping while hungry i got a bag of these gold this small bag of gold um gold fishes this was like a dollar and 59 cents this was on sale for 125 i think yes 125 or 134 actually these oreo cookies i grabbed that and i grabbed a bottle of salsa water this was another reason why i went to stop and shop because these cheeses were on sale this week two for four the limit was two so i grabbed two of the vermont sharp cheddar cheese now this purchase i got i have been seeing this for years but i'm just not willing to pay full price <laughs> it's basically overnight oats so you can eat it cold it's in the cold section um and it's rolled oats oh this one has almond milk and i think this one has coconut milk if i am yeah um this is the blueberry has coconut milk um i think i've seen it before like buy one get one free this time around they were on sale for a dollar each and there was a buy one get one free coupon they paid 50 cents for one i've always wanted to give it a try as i said but i don't want i didn't want to pay full price so now i can try them <laughs> so these are the only flavors that are there i don't know if they come in other flavors but the vanilla bean and the blueberry are the only two flavors at my supermarket these three yogurts i am still trying to get back on my yogurt cake i was such a parfait girl i don't know what happened but i'm trying to get back so i have my strawberries i have some granola i also have sliced almonds and yogurt i'm gonna do it <laughs> i'm gonna do it so i these were on sale a dollar each i grabbed a few of them because it sounded really good i got the vanilla bean in this one this one looks delicious the salted caramel look at that oh and then i love my siggies i just picked up this mixed berries i finally finally was able to make it to one of my favorite shop right this is the last day of the sale and they had some good deals i really wanted to go and i was able to go there i got some of these luigi italian ices you would also see that i grabbed some from stop and shop um but um i haven't tried the mango so i decided to give it a try it was actually on sale for 1.99 i wanted to grab more but the space i don't have the space um and in one of my apps i'm getting like a dollar so once i get that dollar back i would have only paid 99 cents which is great and it's a six count they also had the jimmy dean bacon on sale this week for 1.99 so i grabbed four i got the tick cut one hickory um and then two of the applewood smoked their cheeses were also on sale for 1.99 each i grabbed a few of them i got one mild cheddar one vermont extra sharp and then two of the gouda still replenishing my cheese stash and i really wanted to grab this their wild caught snapper and they have changed significantly so now all of them had three whole snappers before i was able to get four maybe five depending on the size but all of them had three and this is two pounds so two pounds and it's 9.99 so five dollars a pound which is great because in my local fish um market there it's like 8.99 or sometimes 9.99 per pound so this is good to get three whole snappers for ten dollars i also grabbed a five pound pack of jasmine rice i cannot find jasmine rice in my dollar trees anymore but this was nine dollars and 89 cents which is the cheapest that i found so i decided to grab this five pound pack i am um, all out of mayo i grabbed one box this was on sale for 4.49 and their brand of barbecue sauce was also on sale two dollars each so i grabbed two i got the just the original and the sweet honey i also grabbed a five pound bag of their rustic potatoes these were two for five this week so i just grabbed one for 250 and i needed some more flour um, not the best deal because I can get this cheaper at Target, but I was not going to Target anytime soon. So I grabbed um, 
a pack a five pound bag of their unbleached flour this was three dollars and 79 cents the last few items i grabbed from Shoprite were these boxes of pasta i got one zt and one elbow they were on sale a dollar each the final items i grabbed were these quaker snacks i saw on their app that they had this new tangy barbecue um versions i grabbed one of those i got a cheddar and a chocolate of the rice crisp i was also able to make it to aldi i have not been to aldi in so long because the aldi is in the same area as this shop right i grabbed two of their bagels these were 225 each what i really went for were their mangoes and their avocado the mangoes were on sale for 79 cents i grabbed four I got a pack of these baby bella mushrooms these were $1.85 I believe and these waffle cones were also on sale for $1.85 I just grabbed one box it comes with 12 the final items I grabbed from all these I wasn't able to get any of the individual avocados they had this pack these are like the teeny tiny ones six of them for $2.79 I just grabbed a pack of those I got two of the sparkling waters, a watermelon, and a cherry, cherry lime aid. I think these are 75 cents or 85 cents each. In my last video, I also had a few of these. These bread nuts, we, well, we call them bread nuts. I am on a kick. I grabbed two more cans from my local supermarket, and they're now $2.90 per can. Another run to one of my local supermarkets, and I found these. So these drinks, or I guess sodas, or made in my country, St. Vincent's and the Grenadines. I have not had them in years. These are some of the, I guess you could say, favorite flavors. So, sweet ginger, and they were three for five dollars, which is really good. This supermarket, before I think they only carried the red one. The red one is like everybody loves the red, so the red is like, I would say, the most popular. Um, they used to only have the red, but now they have a lot of flavors. So, I grabbed the red banana i love the sweet ginger is really good um i could not pass these up and for three for five dollars it's a really good deal i went to get some lettuce because i'm going to do some bacon cheeseburgers with those same burger patties from bj's i got a bag of lettuce this was 2.79 and i got a pack of their provolone cheese this was 2.99 stopped by one of my local supermarkets this was the reason why the extra large eggs i don't really think they're extra large to me they look more medium but hey i was just there for the price these were on sale this week two for four dollars two dollars a dozen i have not seen that price in i don't even know how long <laughs> i know definitely more than six months i grabbed four so we're going to be stuck for a while I grabbed two of these, these Mamita popsicles, the coconut cream. I love these. These used to be a dollar. No, they're one twenty-five. I think. I got two, the coconut cream. And this hot sauce. My husband loves this. I bought this on a whim, maybe like a few years ago. And he said it's really good. But this is the only size that I can find. At this supermarket, they're $3.57. Grab two of those. Now, this chips I saw in somebody else's video. So, Meek from Meek's World. She said that these are really good. It's limited edition honey habanero. Grabbed one of those. Then, mangoes were a dollar each. So, I just grabbed three. The final item I grabbed from the supermarket was codfish. You can't really see it, but it's this huge piece. And it's doubled over. This is $5 a pound. So a little more than three pounds. I paid like $16 and 62 cents. My first vegetable store run of the video. I grabbed a pack of blueberries. These were $2 each. I had them in the fridge. Um, that's why you're seeing. Of course, that look a little frosty. Strawberries were two for four. So I just grabbed two packs and they're huge. Hopefully they are good. Oranges were three for two dollars. I just got four dollars worth. Tangerines, all these mandarins were two for a dollar. As you can see, one is missing because it has been eaten, but I had six of them. Corn, these were two for a dollar. So I grabbed six of them and I love my plums. They were two for a dollar as well. I got six of those. Those are all of the deals that I grabbed this month, the month of May. 
as you can see these are like replenishing items that i have run out of or just stocking up on items that i needed in my pantry as always i really hope that you enjoy these grocery hauls this collective grocery haul if you want to call it that thank you so much for watching and supporting my videos i really do appreciate it and i will catch you next month